Alright, it, it's, uh, it's, yeah, it's been a while. Let's get back into this. So, the thing about what I'm up to... This little dude needs to get to level 70. So, in the interest of that... I think I'm just gonna go to the, the new DLC. The other one. Because, yeah, there's no way to do this unless it's level 70, which is a bit odd, but whatever. So, let's go to our chest, let's go to the other DLC area, and let's see what that has to offer, and maybe we'll level up along the way. Worst comes to worst, I might just have to do some grinding off stream, and you know, it's fine. Crown Tundra. DLC away! Possibly be an area that is just going to be snowing constantly. This must be your first visit to the Crown Trunda. Am I right? I'm researching Pokemon biology around here. A number of ancient and rare Pokemon have been spotted in the Crown Tundra, you see. I'll update your Pokedex for you. you. Really help me research a new species here. Uh huh. Further that paywall. How much did it add? Another strange amount, but sure. Dad, lay off and quit following me already. I'm gonna Dynamax- I'm gonna go on a Dynamax adventure in the Max Lair, and I don't need you breathing down my neck. I'm here to battle loads and loads of rare Dynamax Pokemon. Gah, don't you fret. I know somewhere way more fun than that nasty old place. Get ready for loads of quality time with the coolest set ever. What a generous and totally unwanted offer. Afraid I've got to say no thanks. Come on, Nia, be reasonable. Or get ready to be ultra mega embarrassed. As I unleash the noble roar of Dad. Yeah, I'll take a hard pass on that. Thanks. Excuse me, hello, you. Yes, the boy over there. My dad is stubborn as steel, and he won't leave me alone. Back me up, would you? Yes. Brilliant. Have a great time with this geezer, then. Now, hold on, lad. Can't say I approve you butting in blindly, but I hope give you a chance and this young lady ought to see reason. The name's Peony? Brace yourself. I'm pretty ferocious in battle. Is he just constantly winking, or does he have a lazy eye? Oh, this is... this is a mistake. Aren't you brave picking a fight with a one-time gym leader? Okay, well... Let's set up the team. Glad I did that.
I guess ACDC is up. This is not good. I guess all I can really do is send you out. At the very least, its moves won't be effective either. Feels tough as they come. The more hits it takes, the more ultra mega determined it gets. Yeah, I mean, let's just do this. This isn't going to do much, but... Hopefully by this I should be able to get more out of it. I guess it's not my place to be bragging. Good money, though. Gah, look at me taking a thrashing from a youngster like you. Hmm. My darling daughter's disappeared. Where have you gone, my sweet Neil? Darling daughter, huh? Of course, my Neil is the sweetest, darlingest daughter a dad could ask for. I brought her out here so we could have a proper father-daughter trip. First one in ages. And now that we've got here, she grabs the first trainer she finds, make him a decoy, and she legs it. 
That's my dear Nia for you. That's just her backwards way of showing her papa she loves him. Ha ha ha. Must be. That's the type of girl she is. Ultra mega charming, isn't she? Still, without her, I can't start this adventor of legendary spots I have planned for us. She mentioned wanting to have a gander at some place called the Maxler, didn't she? Sounds to me like she wants good old Papa to chase after her. Well, she needn't worry. I'm not one for wasting time. Which means it's time I gotta move on. Cheers for the fine battle. I'll be seeing you then, lad. Take care of those strong Pokemon of yours. We got a few revives, we're good. I'm really not sure who should be the frontliner. Huh? Choice. Tanky. Good old rounder. Alright, it's Jinx. What is that? Is that a snowflake? Literal snow. Jeez. That sucked. Alright, it's gone. I already have to heal. Go away, Jinx. <laughs> Never melt ice. Okay. Um... Well, since we just got this... Say, why didn't it do more? I mean, it did, it did a little. I should probably wait until it levels up again. Okay. Just having a look what's around first. Not really interested in catching it. Ah, this must be the Max Lair that Nia was talking about. Which means my darling daughter is in there right now, having a giggle with some rare Dynamax Pokemon. Oh, it's you again. Well, kid, maybe you ought to come as well. 
Right, just you hold on there, my dear. Here comes Papa. Whoa! <laughs> Almost walked into you. Where'd he go? Oh, there. Max Slayer. Please, sir, I can't let you. Oh, I think you can. My precious daughter's in there, and I'm going in after her. I understand, sir, but... But what? I'm here to have an adventure, and I want to kick it off right now. I simply can't allow it, sir. Grr. Oh, there you are, lad. So you've come after all, have you? Alright. Nothing's alright. Everything's the matter. This ultra-mega numpty of a scientist insists on getting in my way. Numpty of a- I beg your pardon, sir. If you'd be so good as to simply listen, I could let you through. Dynamax adventures are quite fraught with peril, and I'm afraid and- I have no patience for standing here and listening to you rattle off the fine print. <sighs> We're just going around in circles. Seems you know this gentleman. Would you simply explain- Would you simply listen to my explanation? If so, then I could allow the two of you to enter as a pair. Aha, now you're talking. Go on then, let's hear what the good lady's got to say. And then we'll go find my little Nia together, right? Right. Are you ready to hear my ex... ex yeah, sure, go. That's what I like to hear, mate. I owe you one. But, but you do realize you, by, by having me listen to it, you listen to it as well, because you're standing right next to me. Very well then, I will proceed. The Maxa is a labyrinth underground cavern which rare Pokemon dwell in, the likes of which normally are not found in the Gala region. Okay. Form a team of four trainers set up to explore the Max Lair. See if you can find the legendary legendary. Take part in a Dynamax adventure, you must borrow a single Pokemon to accompany you. To get things started by having each trainer select the Pokemon they want to take on their adventure. As you explore the den, you'll come to branches in your path. Decide as a team which way to go. When you come across a Dynamax Pokemon, it'll be time for a Max Ray battle. Catch the Pokemon, and you can swap it with the one you have if you think it'll help you press on in the depths of the den. To avoid the risk of Gala Particle overexposure, which can cause your own dear Pokemon to lose control. We are prepared Pokemon for you that are resistant to the particle's effects. Right, I follow you. You're saying you don't want Gala losing control, so the Pokemon rent some particles, and we might see a rare overexposure. That was stunningly incorrect, sir. Are you a buffoon? This is a dangerous place. Please make sure you've a firm grasp of the rules. I'm still a touch lost, but that's the type of place this is, eh? Right, sounds like this is all a little bit beyond me, so I'll just go on in and get cracking. Here comes Papa, my darling Mia. Sir, no, I've just told you it's too dangerous. What is going on with that man? He looks so much like Chairman Rose, but his attitude doesn't match the Chairman's at all. Well, when you're ready to go chase him down... <sighs> pardon me, I meant when you're ready to begin your Dynamax adventure, please let me know. It does look a little bit like Rose. If you go on a Dynamax adventure, I will provide you with Dynite Ore as a reward. I'll also allow you to keep one, just one of the Pokemon you catch along the way. Sure. Alright, let's see how this rolls. Um... Well... I don't know if anyone plays it. Let's, let's just see. Let's see if we can find anyone. I couldn't find anyone for my mystery trade. Also, my avatar is an Eevee kid. I did not pick that. I mean, it's a two minute wait. We'll, we'll see. I got the feeling I'll have to go with AI.
I imagine these kind of things are pretty busy when they first launch, but then they just become graveyards after a while. Yeah, I don't think this is going to find anyone. So let's just hope that, unlike the other max raid battles, that the AI in this, at the very least, is decent. And we don't get another scenario where we have magic carp everywhere. <laughs> also, it looks like I may not level the Pokemon I have, so... It looks like to do the other DLC, I might need to do some grinding. There's like a minute remaining. I'll be patient, I'll let it I'll let it go all the way to the end. But if I was doing this off stream, I would have definitely cancelled by now. <laughs> it doesn't look like there's anyone. So it's cool. I'll just do AI. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Hey, what's up, Lex? Thirty seconds, <laughs> and then yeah, we'll just go with AI. It's gonna be funny. Every time I've done AI, the magic carp has come out. Okay. Done. Let's go go with the donut bite. Don't invite others. Okay, so I got to pick. I wasn't connected, what? Eh, whatever. <laughs> it's fine. I've started it. That's a pretty bad UI if it lets you do that. That's really weird. Um... What do we got here? Yeah, take this side. Why would it let you search for stuff if you're not connected to the internet? That seems a bit weird. Oh, it's War Turtle. Okay. What can I do? Dazzling Gleam, Round, Sweet Kiss. I mean, no, we should let someone else Dynamax. Is there anything that's like a team move? Others can join in round and increase it. I don't think anyone else has a round here. to bed at 6.30? What? Why? <laughs> so thanks for the 11 miles countdown. Bit tired? Oh, that makes sense. But did you sleep the whole night? That's the thing.
I mean, Septile is just gonna murder this thing. So far, the AI does seem a lot better. You woke up 12 times, so that's neither here or there. Okay. Eh. I mean, do I want this? Not really. I've already got the Pokedex entry, there's no point. Oh, uh, Cat. What did she swap it out with? Okay, so we got water. Rock. Rock is the correct choice here. Two things that do well against it. Actually, three if the last one's a steel type. Okay. Do this again. <laughs> Good choice. Get destroyed. I didn't I didn't do anything. I don't need to catch you. Although one of them might. All this yeah, no one wants that thing. Good. You encountered a scientist. I have a rental that you could swap with someone. Are you interested in swapping your current Pokemon for another rental? Yeah, maybe. Dread... Ooh. Um... Probably the normal type is the way to go here. point in using this. Ooh, this one's gonna take a while. Oh no, we lost one. Let's do. Seventy. Seventy. Seventy-five. Seventy-five. Oh man, all my attacks are just... Alright. I may have messed up by swapping for this one, but... Oh well. I guess it's really tanky, if nothing else.
Ha <laughs> ha. That did nothing. I might catch this thing. One, because I don't have the Pokedex entry, and two. Th yeah, this is not this is not doing me good. Um, oh, alright. Okay, that was easy. Yeah, I want to swap. It's a water type. So ridiculous. Oh, we've lost one. Should be stronger. Not that much stronger. That Septala is the carry here. Farewell, giant squirrel. Okay, let's do this and do body slam. Or, you know, Septile's just gonna murder it. Oh god. That may have been my own undoing. We just lost the carry. Uh.
Okay. Body slam. We're okay. Still okay. Yeah! Okay. Catch it. No, don't, don't, don't catch it. Absolutely don't catch it. I think if there's anything I can use that's better. Okay. <laughs> yeah, don't catch it. Fuck that thing. I don't. That's assuming this is a guaranteed catch. It might not be. Okay, it is. <laughs> Which Pokemon would I like to keep? Hmm. Credent, clearly. Um, I don't even know what to call this thing. This is like Water Dogger. Sure. The gradient is level 65, it has more room to grow. Ugh, damn. I didn't even consider that. Hang on, I recognize you. Are you here for a Dynamax Adventure 2? Wicked, guess we're on the same wavelength. I'm Pioneer. Nice to meet you. What about you? What's your name? <laughs> what is that second reply? Wow, what a perfect name. It really suits you. So is my dad on his way here too? I haven't seen him. Has he got turned around and wound up back at the entrance? Listen, sorry for using you to distract my old man back there. He's as stubborn as a mud bray. Things go all right after I left. What? You beat my old man? You sure pulled a blinder there. He used to be a gym leader, you know. Even on holiday, he's no pushover. You know, my dad was going mad with excitement for this trip. He kept going on about how he planned for us to check out local legends on this super intense adventure tour. Or adventor, as he calls it. But I mean, come on. What girl my age would be caught dead doing some naff, stuff, naff thing like that with her dad? Besides, I really fancy having more battles with Dynamax Pokemon. Ah, the thrill of battling one of those massive towering Pokemon. Just thinking about it gets me pumped. You know what? I just had a thought. You're a pretty fierce trainer, right? Then I bet you could handle taking my place on my old man's adventure. Sounds like fun. Too right it does. It's a brilliant idea if I do say so myself. He's so hyped out up about all this, it'd be a shame to leave him on his own. And who knows, you could end up running into a legendary Pokemon. How about I meet back up with you two after I've had my own fun in the max lair? Go on, enjoy. Enjoy your twosome tour of legends. Tell my old man the deal and all that. Not a word. Oi!
Yeah, there are games that do that. Paper Mario, you can refuse to be the hero and then the game just ends. Ah, it hurts. It ultra mega hurts. Neo, where's my darling Neo? What happened? This fine gentleman appears to have tripped on a rock and struck his head. Uh, adventures aren't to be taken lightly. I've learned that first head now. First hand, I mean. I was just checking to see if my little girl was behind some rocks, and look how I've ended up. Behind some rocks? Is your daughter a roly coly, sir? There we go, I'm up. No little bump's gonna keep me down long. That kip's got me feeling right as rain. How about it then, lad? Did you find my darling Nia? I did, but... Hmm, you don't say. So, dear Nia's set on staying away till she's had her fill of Dynamax adventure stuff. And she wants the two of us to go on ahead and get cracking on the Grand Peony Adventure? You know, I burned the candle at both ends working out the best itinerary I could for my dear Nia's sake. But I guess she's at that age when she doesn't want her old man tagging along all the time. And trying to press her into doing what I want to do, but probably won't win me any Dad of the Year awards. Right then, what's your name, kid? Cheers, Shambles. My name is Peony. Wait, have I already told you so? Haha. <laughs> then it's twice as nice to meet you. Oh god, the card. No stone unturned? Literally, yeah. Let's have ourselves a smashing adventure that my dear Nia will be itching to join in on the fun. Yeah, let's... Now that's the ultra-mega great response I was hoping to hear, haha. <laughs> We're going to have ourselves a real treat of a legendary Pokemon hunt. So, that's decided. Now then. Let's get ourselves to Freezington. <laughs> it's a town that's just a short ways off. It's totally not made up. Time for a strategic planning meeting for Peony's Adventure. I'll fill you in on the details once you get there. I say let us reconvene post haste. Just pulling your leg. Can you imagine if I actually talk like that? <laughs> okay. It's cool. You can cut a legendary there. Yeah, it's cool. It just has to guide you every step of the way. One day when I have a kid that can talk like that too, I think I'll talk exactly the same. I can't see myself changing too much, I mean, filtering sure, but more or less the same. Oh come on, I didn't say cunt that much. I'm the mayor of this fair town, Freezington. I must say, it's a surprise to have visitors arriving in our out-of-the-way town after one another. Might you be here to learn about the King of Bountiful Harvest as well? Sure. Uh, never mind, it hardly bears asking. After all, there's very little otherwise to attract visitors to our sleepy corner of the region. Which is a bit of a shame, really. People come all this way to investigate what turns out to be a mere fairy tale. But, since you've made the journey, I must offer you this Freezington specialty as a memento. Boatnik sweatshirt. It's a shirt emblazoned with the likeness of the King of Bountiful Harvest. I'm afraid it hasn't sold quite as well as we'd hope. We've got a fair number left over. The illustration's based on that extremely ancient accounts of the King's experience. Oh, jeez, I'm not reading this properly. Appearance. Hence, the unusual sized head. But we thought it might make the design a touch more hip, as they say. If you'd like to see what the King really looked like, I suggest you take a look at the statue by the fields in the center of our village. By the by, while you're here in the ta uh, Crown Tundra, feel free to let your lead Pokemon out of its... Yeah, this thing again.
he's got a flag and everything. I mean, everyone changes how they talk under different contexts. Under a different context, really. Like, you don't talk the same way you talk at work at, at home. At least, not usually. This poky little place will be our lodgings. But as of this moment, it's also something far more important, our base camp. Still, we've got to give it a proper air of... What? A proper air of importance, haven't we? Now, enough faffing about. Let me tell you what the Peony Exploration Team is after. Around here, they've got a fair few strange and mysterious legends. For example, a huge-headed Pokémon known as the King of Bountiful Harvests. Not to mention... A massive red tree where legendary flying Pokemon gather. And furthermore, these great hulking dot-faced giants that sleep in some ruins or something. Etc. See what I mean? This place is just bursting with juicy legends. And we're not stopping until we've found just how much truth they've got to them. And there you have it. We are the Peony Exploration Team. He's gonna say pet, isn't he? And that is our grand, noble, magnificent goal. Of course, if I had it my way, I'd be doing this with my darling Nia. But who knows? They say even chancy meetings can lead to blissful relations. Oh, God. So here's to a grand adventure. Chief? Expedition Chief? Obviously. Look. What do you think would happen if the two of us went gallivanting off together? My dear Nia could come along for a grand emotional reunion and find this place empty. Just the thought of it, my own darling Nia sitting alone in this room, pinning for her papa. Pinning or pining, anyway. Gah, no, not on my watch. I'd never let that happen. What the hell is this face? <laughs> what the fuck is this face? Oh my god. You know what he looks like? You know when you go to a carnival and they have that, uh, that game where you have the clowns and they're moving their heads from side to side? <laughs> just feel like getting a squirt gun and just <laughs> shooting him in the mouth. Oh, oh, dude. And this is this is why they uh, didn't include all the Pokemon in the game. Stuff like this. So I'll be the whole down the fort chief, which means you get the pleasure of being the expedition chief. Ha <laughs> ha. Which brings me to this. Go on, have it. I'm not going to hand you a physical item because that would be too much to put in. Use your imagination. <laughs> Look at that. Fits you like a glove. I brought some spare uniforms so my DNA could have a few to change into. So there's enough to give you one. And if you ever need to change or have a kit, by all means. Just head into the bedroom back there. I've got some different colored scarves in there. Just switch it up if you fancy a bit of style. Here you have these two. Legendary clue number one. Okay. There's a fairy tale in Freezington about the legendary Pokemon known as the King of Bountiful Harvests. In the legends, the king is said to wear a massive crown on its head, but the wooden statue near the fields in the middle of the crown in the middle of the village shows no crown. Number two. A clue about the Legend of Giants. It's written by Peony and has unique drawings. Oh lord. <laughs> far, far into the giant's bed, 
lies a temple where the giant of stone sleeps. On the temple's door, a strange word. Let the mon... Let the Pokemon here change one by one. Right? It's probably not that. Sunken in the side of the snow slide slopes lies a, a temple where the giant of ice sleeps. On the temple's door, a strange word. Water together is living something of snow. Pedestal of snow. Water together with... I imagine we have to put something together with snow. They're... Okay. Near where the green meets the snow, in the giant bed lies a temple where the giant of steel sleeps. On the temple's door are strange words. Let out no giant of steel. So I think the last one is... Giant of Steel. Awake the Giant of Steel. So it's something to awake the Giant of Steel. On the distant paths of Three Point Pass lies a temple where two giants sleep. On the temple's door, strange words. Where something door all will be open. All be open. I think the last is shall be. I don't know. That one's. Oh, there's more. When the sun reaches its zenith, it shines directly down upon a giant tree with leaves that seem to burn. It is there that the legendary wings come to roost. Their clues I've meticulously compiled from hours of dedicated telewatching. First off, why not have a look at the clue about the King of Bountiful Harvest. Seems like this King's bonds with its loyal steed or whatever you call it run proper deep. So if I had to name this expedition, I'd call it... <laughs> okay. There's a great big statue of it bang in the middle of the village. Though its head isn't as massive in my notes. No. Aha! I've just had an idea. Here's a little something to help you out. This is supposed to be the one ultra mega corker of a ball. Use it whenever you think you ought to. I got it ages ago from someone I used to know. Never could bring myself to use it though. If you ever get a bit turned around, come back, come on back to base camp anytime. You can't miss it, just look for the adventuring crew flag I stuck out front. Handmade by yours truly. Anyway, I suppose that's that. Let the grand adventure begin. Have a smashing time out there. I was pretty much the same, I just never used the master ball really. Wait, this man is so sad. He's like a stepfather trying too hard to be the favorite. He's just a caring parent, and he has a teenage daughter, like... What do you mean? It's pretty normal. Um... I don't know at what point where I got this haircut. I didn't select- I think it was when we went to the other area. Ah, uh, we're fine. Should probably change my hair, but it's cool. You don't have a teenage daughter, so you don't know how that is? No, but surely you've seen teenagers and them getting embarrassed by their parents. At some point. Uh, 
Um, hold on. What now? I took two steps. And it's like, hey, 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 let me guide you in the right direction. I have a he Oh my god, just let me play the fucking game. <laughs> yes, there they are. These are exactly what I was looking for. I knew my hypothesis was spot on. Mmm, wait, Chambles. What are you doing in a place like this? It's boring. Are you having me on this freezing place? Hardly the kind of locale I'd pick to go exploring if it were up to me. But here I am, stuck in the Crown Tundra, trying to learn about a group of Pokemon. There are some Pokemon that prefer places where there are no people. You see, Pokemon that choose to live in isolation. The Crown Tundra is just the perfect place for that sort of Pokemon. She didn't say perfect, but I added it. If my theory is correct, then I think a certain trio of legendary Pokemon could be lurking somewhere in these lands. I'm sure my theory is not wrong. If you want some proof, then look here. See those footprints? You found evidence of the Iron Will Pokemon. That's 2% of the data needed to track it. My theory is the legendary Iron Will Pokemon, Cavern Pokemon, and Grassland Pokemon are all somewhere out here in the Crown Tundra. And there's evidence like this scattered all over the place that leads us to them. If we could find more evidence and collect 100% of the data needed to track these legendary Pokemon, then I bet we could use my Pokemon Finder to figure out what habitats they're living in. But this place is wicked cold and it's putting me in hibernation mode. Are you planning to stick around here for a little while? Think you could try and spot more evidence like this and report it to me when you find it? I'll reward you for your hard work of course and this totally isn't like the Diglett quest that's on the other island. I'll be waiting in that house there so I can stay warm and cozy and maybe feel my fingers. So that I can grip a pen and write of course since I'll be working hard on my research. What? Whose name is Will too? See, at least Corviknight- No, 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 never mind. It still does this shit. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. Quality. a Pokemon, but somehow it feels as if it's missing something. Is that town really called Freezington? Yes, it, it's completely not made up. Okay. And the mayor is called Freezy McFreezeface. Music's pretty cool. Maybe it'd be best to have a proper trainer if I could find a dependable one. What do you mean? I'm... I'm dependable. <sighs> what a cute winter village. I wouldn't know. 
I've never seen anything like this in my entire life. Oh, that's probably a backyard. No? There's a door there, though. Okay. The Eevee onesie, yes, yes, yes. I'm sure if Nintendo actually sold those things, they would, uh... Oh, they would make a lot of money. Wait, there's an actual Eevee onesie? Okay. But I mean, it's hard to compare though. This is stylized and animated. It's gonna be like a level 70 Nidoran. <laughs> It makes my inner child scream because... Excuse me? I just can't catch, like... Catching any... Anything that's basic at a high level was, was a dumb idea. Give me, give me that Aerodactyl. What, weren't these things extinct? Um, I need to be careful. Don't murder it. Corviknight, please don't murder this. Oh god! No, it's fine. Okay. I already know what to call this thing. What? Oh, if you haven't seen the TV show, you won't get it. See, the main character, Ash Ketchum, goes to this place where there's fossils. And there's just a bunch of extinct Pokemon. And Ash, being overzealous, gets himself into a situation where he gets uh, carried up by Aerodactyl and then gets eaten. So then his Char man, Charmillion that uh that wasn't obeying him in complete sadness evolves into Charizard. And then Charizard disembowels the Aerodactyl and manages manages to rescue a half eaten Ash Ash Ketchum. It's just one- it's just one of those episodes that they banned, like the one where James got a set of boobs. And they aired it- they aired it once and then never again. I was honestly just after that.
I, I know this thing. That thing is, is on, like, uh, the Pokemon card packs. There was also a Paragon episode that got banned because it gave kids seizures, yep. Is that Glaceon? Okay, I, I have to catch this one. Try this again. <laughs> oh boy, I'm, ha I'm having I'm having the luck again. Attack it because I, I think I'm gonna murder it. The thing is, it's kind of destroying all my Pokemon. This is not a this is not a good idea, this one. Oh, thank fuck. Fresh snow. Uh, I don't know what to call this thing. I was gonna call it Titanic. But that doesn't make much sense. Because, you know, ice... Don't want it to be morbid, it murders things. But then it doesn't make sense, does it? It's, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that works. So here's the thing, I'm not really sure where I'm going, <laughs> I'm kind of exploring at the moment. What did I just run into? 
I need more guidance from the game. No, I'm just saying. I'm not complaining, I'm just pointing it out that I don't know where I'm going and I'm just exploring. In case someone was like, well, what's the goal here? It's actually nice to be able to just explore the game. I pretty much had no interest in the story as a result, just because it was like, just taking me everywhere. And really, oh, that, oh, that's a wild one. Yeah, I mean, they, it got repetitive. <sighs> Good. Is that, is that a T Rex? This thing looks like it's from the land before time. I've never seen this one before. I don't care. Radical Rex? Nah. I feel like I'm only catching the ones that I find either cool or nostalgia. What was that sound? Doggo. This is- this is the Diglett thing again. This is the Diglett thing again. Except if it's, fo it's with footprints. Finding ones that are on the outside anyway. <laughs> okay, be honest. What are, what are your feelings about this collecting footprint thing? I think it's a little, little bit silly. And yet, here I am. Creative and engaging gameplay, uh-huh. Perhaps, perhaps you might appreciate a uh, desert bus.
Well, I mean, at the very least, I'm almost halfway. I just want to make sure I didn't miss any, because that would be disastrous. Especially because there's no real way of knowing where you've missed it. You're just going to have to backtrack. Yeah, that's what I thought. Just going to make sure. I don't understand how people can play that desert bus game. I mean, I get it, it's a joke. I can see inside that rock. Uh. All right, the, no, there's one more here. Okay, that should be it. So I imagine another cave will have the remaining. I guess that's what it, that evolves into. Yeah, I, I like the design of that one, it's cool. It's not keys. So that's a big plus. This was not how I was expecting this to go. need to look pretty closely because it seems like these footprints are just everywhere I mean yell at me if I miss one Is that a tombstone? Wait, what? Words are carved into this ancient tombstone. Spread my voice. Okay. Not sure how I go about doing that, but sure. much left. Oh, indeedy. I know that one. There's definitely going to be some that I missed. Okay. 
another four, right? Corviknight's just way too big. <laughs> I can barely see with Corviknight out. Oh, that's so much better. Should be it. Go to Freezington and let Sonya know. Alright. I got it. I got it all. Travel to made up city to. Um. <laughs> I here? I'm, I'm on top of it. I don't even know where she's staying. All the houses look the same. This is the mayor's house. Whatever. She's not here. There she is. About that evidence. Iron will 2%, cavern 100%, grass iron 0. You've gathered 100% of the- Yeah, cavern. Alright, let's go. This should be enough data for us to pin us down where it lives. So, if I field all this data into my trusty Pokemon finder, it's searching for energy signatures. And it's found a matching Pokemon. The cavern Pokemon can be found inside the Lakeside Cave. You finally get to come face to face with the legendary Pokemon we'll be searching for. Best of luck. Okay. Lakeside Cave, eh? A giant's bed, old cemetery, Lakeside Cave. Okay, um... No, but, uh, can I have something that tells me that I'm going in the right direction? Or is that too much to ask for a game in 2021? Well, 2019, whenever this came out. Okay, I know to head towards the tree. I know that much. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm headed in the right direction. I may be headed in the wrong direction now. Is 
that a Nita King? It's a fully grown Nita King. It's a fully grown Nita Queen. Um. I don't think we're gonna do this yet. You're heading off? Alright, Canton. Catch you later. Have a good evening. Where is. The giant's foot? Whoa! Nope, okay. Just having massive shit pop out out of nowhere. Wait, this cave. What? We're in a... Okay. We were in a river. Ah, oh, no, this isn't it. This is the sea caves. I should have checked sooner. <laughs> Sorry, but the magic cop, that, that's funny. Oh! Good. It's so easy to run into big stuff. Wait, so... Is this just a dead end? This looks like a dead end. No. Ah, I just want to go! Send Scotch. Let's try going this way. I hope this is correct. No, we're just here again. Just a, a little mini map would have been nice. Or being able to have some form of wayfinding. the light cave over there. Right. Um. Well. Maybe. It's a tunnel. Let's just see what it says. Like side cave. Alright, cool. Forgot something. Oh. Yeah, it's almost been a year, dude. Oh, wait, I'm thinking it's April still. It has been. No, hang on. 
One year, 15 days ago. What do you mean? It's April. It's not May. <laughs> the worst part about that was I second-guessed myself. <laughs> Take it easy, dude. Why did I second guess myself? I knew I was right. Oh. Hello. It's, uh, Teriyaki. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Nuzzle it, at the very least. Okay, good. Don't murder it. Okay. I don't want to murder it, so let's just... Oh boy. Um... Do we have a heavy ball? Oh, we have this. Yeah, we're in a cave. This should work. Also, I'm swapping the batteries on my headset real quick. <laughs> do I have another? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I'm gonna risk it, though. I'm gonna go another nozzle. Okay. You did your job. You did your job, doggo. God, you suck. <laughs> Why is it not catching? I'm glad I saved it. Um, alright, this is problematic now. No, we will not. Let's just... One sec. Right. 
Um, let's go try. doggo again. Dude. <laughs> um, one sec. No one's surviving any of the tits, that's the annoying thing. We need to use another revive. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> okay. That, uh, that's, a, that's a hell of a move. Did I really, like, how, how are you doing this? Yeah! Oh yeah! This thing is an asshole. Can't attack it any further. Oh my god, just catch! <laughs> it's attack won't go any higher. I'm gonna vomit. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw up. Oh my god, thank fuck. <laughs> Alright. That uh, just took like, I don't know, my Pokemon being wiped out several times. He is teriyaki. Well, I mean, it wasn't easy. I, I, I should be satisfied with that. Go back to the base camp. That was an ordeal and a half. Is there a store anywhere? Good. A little stressful. But good. I guess now we look for more footprints. Oh, there we go. The 
This is basically the Diglett thing all over again. I'm not even finished the Diglett thing either. Doubt does it need that way. Alright, let's keep heading downhill. So you're supposed to just attempt to figure it out. Well, there's probably somewhere we find a clue. One fifth of the way there. <laughs> Don't touch me. The process is definitely a little bit tiring. <laughs> These ones are a little more difficult to see. Another tombstone. Oh, can't read it. I thought maybe it'd be a clue. Ha 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 ha! How many 
anymore. So do you think these Pokemon destroyed this village? Because <laughs> in any other RPG game, it'd be like, that would be the law. These things just murdered the village. And what lies there is only but ruins. Wow, okay. It's like three of them in one spot. Oh, what did I run into? Snow runt. This one's going to be interesting because hail is going to be in play. Which means... Um... It's going to be a pain to catch. This one was a poor choice to do. <laughs> it's so light here and it's just, you have to look carefully. This one's more well hidden. Just because of the snow effect that's going on everywhere. Okay, this is another one, but may as well get it. Content with this. I wonder if there's any more uphill. Yep. Right, there's another one. Five more. Four more. It's probably where as far as it goes. Three more. Two more. This should be hopefully... Yeah, that's it. Thank fuck. Okay. Before I do that, I need to go buy Pokeballs and stuff. Because... It's not a good idea to go like this. I actually don't have that much money. I 
I hope that's enough. Okay. Actually, while I'm here, do they have a a stylist? Is that a style card? That's rare as so rare. Yeah, okay. Just it's part of the DLC. Yeah. Very expensive. Caesar. Oh, okay, that's why. Man bun DLC. That's that's it. <laughs> we can we can look like uh, what's his face? Um, I, mean, I don't even know. Let's go with the bowl cut. It's fine. Do I have a man bun in IRL? No. It's definitely not. looking. Three thousand. Oh, that doesn't look good. <laughs> but whatever. Yes, reprint the damn card. What? No, no, I said no. I said I sure as hell don't. Um. Sure. Get another color then. Okay. Slightly better. All right. We are ready. Okay. A reward. Ten XP candies. Okay, cool. Track down the grass line one. What is she doing? Why is she shaking furiously? Giant's bed. Ah, oh, okay. Um. Forgot what I was gonna do. I forgot what I was gonna do. It doesn't matter.
No, I just gotta hope that I remember how to get back there. Oh. Well, all right then. I guess it'll be obvious when I run into it, eh? No, not this way. It's somewhere around here. There it is. Oh, I, it's Verizon. <laughs> so I already caught Teriyaki, now I'm gonna catch Verizon. Oh, this one's going to be fun. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what to say, like, to the Australia isn't real comment. It's like... I could come up with an original comment, but then... I'd want to use it on an, an original joke, so I don't know. This is not going to go well, is it? <laughs> uh, don't worry, I'm just being facetious, it's fine. Plus it's late at night here. Wait, you. I think the way to play it don't attack it, let the ice do its work. At this point it'd be pretty risky. Or I could start throwing Ultra Balls now, that's another way. I doubt this is going to work. No, not that. I should definitely start throwing them now. Oh, wow, okay. I thought that was going to get very, very clenchy. Just every turn having that thing. Twitch chat wants to learn counter. Ah, uh, I mean, I guess. Sounds like. That one went a lot better than the other one. I got lucky. Wait. That's your phone company and you hate them? That's fine, I don't like the Pokemon design, it's fitting. Did 
The nickname's not meant to make sense anyway. I have one that I nicknamed Consume Fist because I felt like I wanted to eat my own fist because I just couldn't catch it. So, that's the kind of nicknaming style I have. Still my favorite nickname I've ever given to a Pokemon. I named my Mew SSN truck. Alright, well, I'm gonna leave it here, chat. It's pretty late for me, and I'm just gonna get some rest. Uh, because the next set of footprints, if I'm being honest, I can't be bothered. <laughs> it's, dude, it's it's the Diglett thing again, but now it's there's like three times the amount to do. Like, yeah, I, I don't feel like hunting footprints. Uh, but I'll continue it next time. We'll do a bit more of this. I still gotta keep grinding. I might do it off stream and just get, you know, this closer to 70. It's a, such a weird requirement, but whatever. I'll, I'll do my best. Alright. Thank you so much for watching. I'll uh, be back tomorrow for more streams. We'll see what we get up to. Alright. Take care, everyone. Catch you later.